please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, Understanding SQL Aggregate Function Performance versus Python and Java, Poor Man's OLAP. Introduction SQL is a powerful language for managing and querying relational databases, but it's essential to understand its performance characteristics when dealing with large data sets. One common concern is the speed of SQL aggregate functions compared to languages like Python and Java, especially when implementing poor man's OLAP, online analytical processing. In this tutorial, we'll explore why SQL aggregate functions might be slower and provide code examples in Python and Java to demonstrate their performance. SQL offers a range of aggregate functions like sum, count, average, min, and max, which perform calculations on groups of rows. These functions are excellent for data aggregation and analysis within a database. SQL aggregate functions are designed to work within the database system, often optimized for data integrity and consistency. However, they can be slower than equivalent operations in Python or Java for several reasons. Database communication, SQL aggregate functions involve communication between the application and the database, which adds latency compared to in-memory operations in Python or Java. Database overhead, databases have to manage transactions, indexing, and locking mechanisms, leading to additional overhead during aggregation operations. Query execution plans, SQL databases generate query execution plans, which can be resource intensive for complex queries, affecting performance. Disk I.O., if data does not fit entirely in memory, SQL databases may need to read slash write data from slash to disk, further slowing down operations. Indexes and constraints, SQL databases enforce indexes and constraints, which can slow down write operations but ensure data integrity. Python is an excellent choice for implementing poor man's OLAP because it allows you to read data into memory and perform aggregations quickly. Here's a simple example using Python and the Pandas library. Java can also be used for poor man's OLAP by reading data into memory and performing aggregations. Here's a Java example using the Java Streams API. To compare the performance of SQL, Python, and Java for aggregation, you can run benchmarks on your own data sets. The choice of language and tool depends on your specific use case and performance requirements. SQL aggregate functions are essential tools for data aggregation within databases. However, they can be slower than equivalent operations in Python and Java due to various factors like database communication, overhead, query execution plans, disk I.O., and enforcing indexes and constraints. Depending on your needs, you can choose between SQL, Python, or Java to implement poor man's OLAP, considering factors like data volume, query complexity, and performance requirements. ChatGPT